Hey everyone! Welcome back to my new video. This is GSP Creations. Today we'll be creating this. And for those, who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's start! You can also download this project including the sound effect from the link in the description. Create a new composition. I'm using a full HD 1080 pixels per set. With 24 frames per second and 30 seconds long. Then we're to go over this text tool. And I am just type in my name. Then I am make it align. So it's center now. I am going to duplicate this text layer by hit Ctrl plus D. Then go over to the effects tab. And search for CC particle systems too. So I am going to drag it onto the top layer. Make sure you do that, this is what it looks like. So it has like this firework effect. But you can see that the fireworks are limited to this box. So to fix that you are go over to effects and presets. And you are going type in CC composite right there. And then we're going to drag it on same thing. And then you're going make sure, you put it on top of the particle systems over here. So now the particle effect isn't limited to that box and as you can see as I move forward it just spreads out like that. So pretty cool, so now we are going to open up these setting tabs over here. And I'll talk about each one individually. So this is the birth rate right here. And this is controls how much of the particles is emitted. So if maybe, I want to increase it out to like 15. So it just makes it a lot more dense. And then longevity is that is how long the particles would be in the air. But we'll keep it at 2 now. For the radius, that gives the amount of space. Where the particle are a minute out of hold it. But I am just going change it to 1. And then for the Y it's the amount in the Y direction, where the particles are made out of. And since these letters are pretty long, I am going to make this to about 15. So I'm going go over to the about the first part here. And I'm going to do a keyframe. And I'm going click on that little stopwatch there. They're going put this to zero. And then I want to go about two and a half seconds in. And I'm going to change it to 1920. So that spreads out at the very end. There now one thing, that's important is. We're going hit the source alpha inheritance. And what that does is. It links the explosion of the particles, only to where the letters are. So the particles are only being emitted from the letters. Which is pretty cool. So we got that going now there is different animation effects. We have two explosion one. Let's just look at this. We're going to use this direction. And direction looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to change the velocity. And so what the velocity is. It's not how fast the particles move across the letters but it's how fast the particles are emitted from the letter. So I'm just going change it to 0.1. Take a look at that. Now the gravity is really cool. So if it's a positive number, it's going to act like gravity here on Earth, where it falls down. But if you make it negative, it will fall up. So I am just going to get a negative 0.1. And it's give this effect like, it's floating. So that's really cool. And then extra, that just kind of makes it a little more varied. So I'm just do 20. 
and then I want to make the opacity down 25%. and then I'm going to change the color of these. So the birth color is the color that the particle is once it gets off of a letter. So I'm just going to make that white. And then the death color what ends up being. So I'm just going make a little bit gray. And we are done, take a look at it. So it just floats off nice and gently pretty cool. Ok so now we got to make the name disappear. So over to do for that is. We're going go up the effects tab. And we're typing linear wipe right there. And we're to drag it onto the second bar. So it's already made it disappear. So I'm going go open up these keyframes here. So I can use that to base my linear wipe tool lead. So I'm just going to line it up with the keyframe of the particle system right there. Then I'm going to set this, I want to make it zero. And then we're going go over to the end. And I'm going make this 100%. Then I'm going to set this, I want to make it zero. And then we're going go over to the end. And I'm going to make this 100%. I'm going to change this to negative 270 on the on the wipe angle. So that flips it, so let's look at this. Then obviously there's a little bar there. So I'm going to change a feather. Let's increase this a lot. We're doing 50. And I'm just going move the keyframe about 2 frames there. So that should be good to see you like this. I am just going to change my birth rate value like 10. That looks like it works pretty well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. Also you can make requests for new tutorials on interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you all next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial.